First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash, the Wadi Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, the Wadi Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for giving us this truth of worms, the honor to our apostle out of that great millstone and say, taste and bless to the whole for like. Just want to do this quick video on this old clip with, uh, I believe this is Denzel Washington. And he makes a good point. I'll let you brothers hear it and then uh, let y'all hear it and I'll go from there. And as you see, with especially with us, and you see what's going on in the world, man. There's a change in powers, man. The sheep, which were us, which I'll grab actually, which is, which is us. Uh, I'll grab it real quick. This is uh, Zachariah. Zachariah. I know it's exactly right. It's like around the, and it led to led to the slaughter. Give me bear, bear with me one second. Where is that? Where is it at? Lead. I be Zephaniah. It's, it's cool. If I if I find it, I find it. If the Lord wanted to come out, it'd come out. But as as you heard the quote, or not the quote, but what he's saying about the sheep and the wolf, and you have that paradox, as, as you could say, or that dynamic happening right now of the sheep rising up against the wolf. The, us being the sheep who are led to the slaughter and and the wolf being Esau, Edom, and these other nations. And now we're standing up. And now it's it's hateful. It's evil. It's wrong. It's, you shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be saying those things. Those things are wrong. They're anti-Semitic. They're wicked. They're evil. But all we're saying is we're preaching who we truly are. We're preaching who we really are through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. And everyone is telling us we're wrong. Well, we're not. In the spirit. We are right in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai. See, it wasn't a problem when a when a nigga is smoking weeds or smoking blunts. It wasn't a problem when when a nigga just sing and dance. It's a problem when a, when a, when an Israelite as a as a man, a so called Negro Latino or, or Native American man, starts to say he's an Israelite. The whole world is in uproar if a if a so called Negro Latino or Native American. Says he's a he's an Israelite. There's a panic. There's a problem. That's evil. There's that's and 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 it's going to keep coming out, man. We are the true biblical Israelites, whether you like it or not. In the power of the Bible, the God of the Bible, the Heavenly Father Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is for us, man. He's not for you other nations. He's not for you heathens. He's for us. This is Wisdom of Solomon five and verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of, of such have afflicted him and made no account of their labors, of his, of his labors. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening. The righteous men are, are rising back up, man. The men of the Lord are back upon the planet Earth, man. And everyone is in an uproar because this is what happened when the men of the Lord came on the scene. There was uproars. There was riots. There was chaos, man. Because this way of, of life has been put down for so long, man. This way of life, this the, the book of the Bible, the way of the true power of the Bible has been put down for centuries. For centuries, man. And every time 
it comes back up. It starts riots. It starts chaos. It starts commotion. That's why. That's what happened in, in Acts. They getting kicked. They got kicked out of Rome because the word was being preached so much. It was it's causing chaos, man. They said, yeah, you got to get these Israelites out of here. They got to go. And you see that dynamic happening once again upon the planet Earth. You have it with us, but now you're seeing it on a worldwide scale with this whole Kanye West thing. You see it, man, how they're demonizing them, man, for saying the truth. If you want to talk about the Holocaust, let's talk about the Holocaust. What about the, the 100 million Negroes dying from to coming over here to the Americas? Let's talk about the, the, the Trail of Tears. Let's talk about the reservation. Let's talk about how you stole the gold from the Latino tribes. Let's talk about those Holocaust, man. How you killed for fun. You killed for sport. You were literally, Christopher Columbus and his men were really literally killing the Latino tribes for fucking fun, man. Let's talk about that Holocaust, man. But no, 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 that's that's wrong. That was so that was so long ago. This and that. Well, the Holocaust was so long ago. Fuck the Holocaust, man. Fuck them Jews. You're not the true people. Fuck y'all, man. We, we, we're the ones that have suffered, man. Hey, like the brother Malak said, we run the suffering Olymp Olympics, man. You want to talk about some fucking Holocaust, man? We're being anti-Semitic. You don't even know what the, you people don't even know what that means. You don't even know what it means to be anti-Semitic. Talk about a fucking Holocaust. This is Daniel's 9 and verse, verse uh, 11. Yea, all, uh, verse 12, and he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that, that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the, under the whole heaven have been, have not been done as, as done upon Jerusalem. So we have suffered the worst, man, upon the planet earth. The children of Israel have had it the worst. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Look at the curses, man. Those, that's why I say he has confirmed his word. Because he's talking about the curses in, in Deuteronomy 28. And even he confirmed them in Daniels. And they're still being confirmed to this day, man. We are at the bottom. We are, man. We've lost our land. We've lost our heritage. We lost our wealth. We lost our health. Our, our people are still destroyed to this very day. And these motherfuckers, when I ask this man, what about the Holocaust? We're still in our Holocaust to this fucking day, man. But no one wants to talk about that, man. We're just, he's just getting blackballed. And, and Kanye, whatever happened, whatever happened. But it's a points that, bring, that are being made that need, to, that need to show what's happening in this world, man. Esau's afraid of this great awakening, man. A great awakening is happening in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. And you devils are petrified, man. We are the we are the afflicted ones, man. It's the scriptures say we are led to, to, to the to the flock, man. Where's that scripture at, man? Led. Slaughter, man. Where's where's this scripture, man? It's almost there. It is Ezekiel eleven and verse four. Thus, thus saith the Lord, my my power. Feed the, the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold them not, hold themselves not guilty. They that sell them, they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their and their own shepherds pity them not. How 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 are we now how, how are we the problem? Now everybody else around the world is playing victim when we're the true victims. We've been victimized, man. We've been beat. We've been killed. We've been slaughtered. We've been mutilated, literally, physically and spiritually. You know what happened to our ancestors, man? Do you know what the fuck happened to them, man? And you, you, you bastards have the nerve 
to 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 say something when a nigga is singing, dancing, rapping, shooting the ball, throwing the football. There's no fucking problem, man. Huh? But when we start to say we're the children of Israel, everyone's in an uproar. Everyone, everyone's against us. We're we're the we're the we're the we're the criminals of the earth. We didn't nuke people. We didn't kill people. We didn't slaughter people. Even though we're the ones that's been lynched, we the ones that been killed, man. We're the fucking victim, man. And we can play the victim because we are the victims, man. We are the victims, man. And we can complain, we can yell, and we can cry about it, man, because we've been victimized. Man, boy, this world is something else, man. This is why it says, for, for, uh, what does it say? Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And that Holocaust was fucking propaganda. Do some research, man. And it's a blessing to have the apostles and elders, man, because we didn't get this on our own, man. We got this through the spirit, power of Yahweh, by Shem Shai. For, and he gave it to the apostles and elders to research, man. The Holocaust was a sham. It was propaganda. It was proper fucking ganda to pump up the war. It didn't happen. Yeah, you probably had some Jews that some some Jewish people that died, but they were dying from typhus. And those those concentration camps, quote unquote, were fucking cleaning places, man. Them gas chambers was was bathhouses. They were not fucking ga- true gas chambers. Them and and when you man, just look it up, man. There's YouTube videos all about how the Holocaust is is a hoax. People going really deep into it, man. Really deep, deeper, way deeper than I'm saying right now. Just go YouTube it. Look up Holocaust hoax. They break it down, man. We're man. Man, it's crazy, man. It's it's absolutely crazy. But this is a beautiful thing, man, because the Lord has woken us up, man. He's woken us up. This is Revelation 11 and verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life, man, we're we're breathing again. We're, that spirit is back in us. Those dead bones have the life now, man. From Yahweh enter into them. And they stood upon their feet in great fear, great, great fear fell upon them which saw them. And who was to them? The heathens, the other nations, the elites. They are terrified, man, by this awakening that's happening. The Lord is quickening his men. They're arising in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemi al What does it say? A exceeding great army. This is uh, Ezekiel 37 in verse uh, 6. Let's see. We'll see where I start. I can start up. I can start up. I just want to hit right at the point. Hit right to the point. Ezekiel 37 and verse 9, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy. And the prophecy, man, I bet the apostles and elders are hyped up, man. I ain't even, they, they look at how much has flourished, man, from prophesying to the wind. Prophesying to the wind, man. Look how much has flourished. Look how big camps are getting. Look how many people are coming in. And with this Kanye thing, it's just going to wake up more people. Then said he unto me, prophesy. Unto the wind, prophesy, son of man. Go out and preach this word. Go preach. No matter if people hear you or not, go out there and preach, man. Preach. Preach. Preach unto the wind. It don't matter. Go out there and preach because that wind is going to carry the word. And who those that will hear will hear, man. The elect will arise, man. And say to the wind, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai power, come from the four winds. O, o breath, and breathe un, upon these slain, that they may live. So, prof, so I prophesied it also, as he commanded me, 
and breath came into them and they lived. We're back, baby. We're alive, man, through the spirit and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army, man. We were fucking lost in the sauce, man. Like Paul said, with no hope in the world without Hamashiach, man. But now we have the Lord. We have Yahushai and we're strong again, man. And even when we get weak, we get strengthened through the Lord. This is a beautiful thing, man. It's beautiful for us, man. But for the rest of the nation, they're terrified because when Jake was in power, when we ruled, they were on the bottom. Because we are powerful when the heavenly father, how by Shemuel Shah is with us, man. And when we're organized, we're strong, and the Lord is controlling it. He's moving with us. He's, he, he's strengthening us. He's with us through the battles. These nations get fucking decimated, man. And that's what's about to happen, man. They see it, and they're fucking scared, man. You can see it, man. You can see it. They are fucking terrified. Because they know that the power is shifting. The power is shifting, man. Because of, as the scriptures say, the 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 king's hand, the king's heart is in the Lord, man. The Lord controls these kingdoms, man. He controls who's in power. He has the sway of all this, man. It's happening, man. It's happening and it's happening and it's happening. It's only going to increase. And they're gonna come down hard on us, man. They're gonna come down heavy. But you know what? The Lord is going to lift up a standard and he's going to be with us. So, Lord, well, if this lesson was edifying, man, stay strong, brothers, man. I know, it's, I know, I know this shit ain't easy, man. This, 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 this is a, this is a, a, a walk, man. It's a walk, man. It's a, it's a race, man. But stay strong, man. We all got to stay strong, keep fighting, and keep pushing, man. Because it's, 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 it's here, man. It's coming, man. The Lord is about to show miraculous signs and wonders man we just gotta wait it out and it's only gonna get tougher but we just gotta wait it out it's a waiting game man it's a game of patience the, the race is not given unto the swift this game is a game of patience we just gotta wait so lord we'll hope this lesson was edifying all praise be to you by shimmy al shai by shimmy with that shalom